Well, yeah. you'll never know. Maybe that will be his redemption time. Right, definitely. We had some storylines brewing in rivalries. But speaking of storylines, welcome to Top 24, best of three between MK Leo and Tater Nader. Bowser Jr. versus Wolf. What an interesting matchup. You don't see Bowser Jr.'s a lot these days, especially after the 2.0 patch. And especially because you had seen that uh, MK Leo had just won a tournament effectively with. You know, mostly Ike with some Lucina sprinkled in, especially the grand final set. And now he's going Wolf. Maybe the, uh, you know, Zachary's legacy living on <laughs> into the uh, into other matches and other rounds. Oh, yeah. Actually, did you know during Genesis, Wolf was one of the most commonly used secondaries yeah. during the tournament. We also know that GSM Void seconds as Wolf. Right. And like you said, Zachary with his legendary match there. Yeah. And, well, you know, why not? Wolf has, you know, he's pretty... A pretty straightforward character and so much damage, so much, you know, output. It's kind of one of the, you know, I, the irony is a lot of the Smash 4 Sheik players kind of migrated over this character. And as soon as those players migrated over, everyone else is starting to pick up the character. Oh, yeah, yeah for good reason. He's got that really good fair, fair combo, yeah. right? Maybe perhaps not a bouncing fish, but some really great finishing moves, right. too. And of course, yeah, I'm on the other side of the screen, uh, Tater Nader going that Bowser Jr., the tried and true. He had experimented for a while with Inkling, and I was talking to him about it like early game. He's like, yeah, Bowser Jr. is terrible. And then Tater Nader is telling me that he had a, this like this this uh, epiphany that this game rewards people throwing out hitboxes. And oh, then all yeah. of a sudden, Bowser Jr. became playable for him. Oh, yeah, certainly. <laughs> and uh, you might have seen it just a second there ago there, folks, but we saw a Let's Go Leo sign in the background. Uh, it's, the spirit is really real in this room right now. So we got Bowser Jr. here with 193% already, but has all three stocks. Let's see if right. Wolf can land one on them. And with the up throw, but not enough to kill. Yeah, if uh, MK Leo can't take a stock, we're, we, you know, he's, at this point, Tatenator's built the lead, you know, it, it's only game one, so he can't start, set, you know, start the upset alert. But a 91% lead coming into the second stock, if you want to, if you ask Tatenator if he could be in this position at the beginning of the match, he said, yeah, I'll take it, I'll take it. Uh, right now, the MK Leo, 60 damage unanswered. Almost more, put a good forward smash in, and Tatenator just has his hands full. Can't get back to the stage after so much momentum coming into the early game. Oh yeah, Leo going in for that grab. And we've been seeing a lot of that tonight where they try to make an edge recovery and he'll just go in space that just perfectly and go in for the grab. Right. It's a great way to start a combo flow. And I'll smash, and there's a little pop up in the crowd. SoCal's getting hyped. They can feel the energy. One more stock. That's all they're chanting, right? One more stock in the, you know, the upsets of Bruin. That's just game one. That's where it starts. All right, doing pretty good. Oh, except for the up smash with the 130%. Just let's see if they can get one, some damage on there before their stock ends right. here. Yeah, Tatenator definitely wants to put in as much extra credit as he can. Every little bit will help, but he's in his advantage right now, and that FTL is going to put him off stage once again. It kind of seems like since the first stock, Tatenator's been off stage since, uh, you know, for the, the entire time. Able to open him up. Almost, yeah, some big damage coming through. And there's that 40%, a good, you know, no matter what, he's uh, playing on house money. He's going to have a lead coming into this last stock. Here we go, 40%. Let's see what you're made of, Tatenator. You got the world champion on the ropes, game one. All right, let's go here. Right, just trying so hard to find an opening there. You have to play so patiently when you're up against Leo here because finding an opening with him is so difficult. He's really good at keeping himself closed up. Right, yeah, his, his neutral game is so elusive and so slippery in it. It's always very deceptive. You, you feel like you can hit him and it's not quite there, and then you just get yourself over committing, and all of a sudden, you know, he puts on 70 damage. And we got a virtually even game now because he did come out, you know, for the better in that little tussle that they had. And Let's see if Tatenator had just enough of a lead to close it out or if the momentum train that is MK Leo is going to close it. He's already taking the lead now. Wolf we'll going into that grab, trying to start a combo, but Bowser Jr. trying to keep his distance, but he was able to go in with that dash. Oh, wow, he yeah, picks up by the cannonball looking like Super Mario Bros. 3. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh man, That's, he kind of caught MK Leo sleeping. He got killed on the slide scroller uh, level. The cannonball <laughs> finished that. Wow. Kind of a surprise. What a great set by Tatum yeah. there. And he's up game one, coming into game two. So now you can start everybody get on Twitter, tell your friends. We got an upset <laughs> of Bruin. <laughs> one right. more game. I got one more set. Oh, no. I got one set of MP Leo. I win it. But that's, that's a pretty good, good team right there. And I think, oh, it looks like MP Leo's going to stay Wolf. I, I think he's probably bound and determined to go Wolf this tournament. It's, it's a weekly, you know, you just throw it out there. I think 
you know, if this were Genesis 6 or Genesis 7 and uh, all the money's on the line, you know, in the future, we probably would have switched back to the tried and true Ike or the, the Lucina. But, you know, it's a weekly, try to figure it out and let's see what kind of adaptation he's able to make coming into the second game. Oh yeah, that's what I like about weeklies. It's a really great place to experiment and still get that competitive feel while also, you know, getting some practice and something you want to just try. And especially in SoCal, it's, it's one of those, you know, luxury privileges that we have. You know, every tournament out here is like a hundred person tournament. So our weeklies that people experiment in are like the majors for like every other region in the uh, in the country that's not like Florida or, or Tri-State or something like that. Oh my oh, God. Wow, that spike from coming from MK Leo. That was incredible. Yeah, very good dare off stage, and after having such a good, you know, a good lead um, in game one, Tanerinator looked like he kind of started to slow down just a little bit. Had enough momentum to close it out, but by and large, after you know, MK Leo was kind of in control of the last two stocks of the match. Let's see, you know, it, it kind of looks like he's picked up right where he left off, and wow, he's playing a lot more aggressively yeah. in this match too. As you can see, that edge guard is insane. Not giving him any room to come back onto the platform. Oh, there's a jab kill, and that, that should do it. And we're, we're even on stocks. The uh, difference is in percents. And Bowser Jr., you know, capable of putting on a lot of damage very quickly. I mean, that's kind of the story for every character in this game. But Bowser Jr. in particular, some of the, uh, the early combos, especially against Wolf, being able to uh, fall so quickly. Oh, look at that. Trying to go in for another jab, but MKLeo was able to see and keep up the shield. See, they're trying to find opening. Both of them playing so patiently. He's gonna land first hit, and it was MK Leo with that up air, up smash. Yeah, that up smash definitely. Uh, up air, up smash. They all hit them upwards. All good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, forward tilt, two frame unit. Or uh, actually, I think he probably caught Taternator trying to go past the ledge and put, you know, sneak in a quick hit. It's kind of one of the uh, uh, the go-to gimmicks from Taternator when he's recovering instead of uh, you know snapping the ledge. So maybe a little overcommit on Taternator's part in that situation. But right now, he's doing a pretty good job of trying to keep himself into the game. He's able to close out the stocks. We got a ball game. Um, all that, that Koopaling, not what he wanted. All right, trying to go in with the cannonball again. Wow, very good. Dragged him down with down air. Picked him up with the up air. And he's, you know, he's not out of it. He's, he's close. He's within striking range. And look at that, trying to make it back onto the edge. And they're going back and forth. You can kind of feel, you know, Taternator's urgency on this. Oh, no time for urgency. If you're just getting back here out of it, man. Wow, and that makes the game 1-1 one, one right now. Right. One for Taternator, one for MK Leo. Who will take the last game? Or it is best out of three, right? Yeah, it's best of three so far in the bracket. Um, I think probably the next round. We'll have to double check that if it's going to be best of five next round. But Taternator, you know, the advantage of winning game one is Taternator's got a counter pick that he can make. So let's see what stage he's able to go through. Um, of course, I think if the counter pick gets you know too much in his favor, MKLeo does have the luxury to switch to one of the capable characters that he does have. So um, it won't be anything too crazy, I think. I would be surprised. Though. I think it's it just, it, I get the feeling looking at it that uh, Leo is like looking at, I'm going to use Wolf for this tournament. You think you're not going <laughs> to, we're not going to see any Fire Emblem characters uh, today, Lux? I, maybe later bracket, but this round, I, I think MK Leo, he looks loose, he looks ready. Um, of course, Tatanator really thinking it out. You know, you don't ever, your, your chance to beat the uh, number one in the world, it uh, doesn't happen every day. Wants to relish this moment, feel it, be in it, make sure he makes the right choice. There's that Wolf, Wendy's coming out. Let's see if Project Wendy can knock out the champ. So the two of them are picking uh, Smashville or Town, or Town City. City. Yeah, we're at the city. Um, you know, it's some moving platforms, kind of a more open game than uh, the closed game of Battlefield and things like that that we had seen before. Oh, definitely. Yeah, and I'm wondering, you know, it doesn't look like Tidinator has gone to a lot of coupling pressure like he has in the uh, the past. I'm curious as to why he's kind of stayed away from it. It doesn't really matter. He's opened up an early lead. That's kind of the recipe for success. Yeah. If you're looking for an upset against the top player, the, the number one prerequisite, get an early lead and put the pressure on. And he has that so far. Oh, definitely. Look at Wendy going in there, trying to suffocate their opponent, but Wolf was able to make the comeback into a, a fair combo here. Yeah, it just kind of seems like they're playing, you know, Rochambeau back and forth. Uh, once one of them gets them off stage and opens them up, it's big damage either way. There's the stock. 
And after such a promising start at 69%, Leo in firm control, as long as he's able to get back. Oh, look at that wolf going in for the grab. Yeah, he's in, uh, he's in Tanner's head at this point. I think the that's the unfortunate part. The mid tiers, they're magicians, but sometimes, you know, the top players can see right through the magic. All right, Wolf trying to go in for that stun and goes in for a hit, but Tanner was able to put up a shield. Really good play by him. And it's it's close. Off stage, yeah, he's, he had him in a, a disadvantage position. I thought I'd be there. Oh, and look at that. There we go. A little reversal with that side special. Wow, but it, the pressure is on with this stun. We are Reddit with a down smash, and it's, you know, the Cinderella story. The clock might be striking midnight here on Tater Nader. Let's see if he's able to mount some sort of comeback. Not going to be easy. I know, especially since he is on his last stock here, but putting on the pressure right now with 50% going on Wolf MKLeo. And he's, you know, he's still maintaining that pressure, he's maintaining all of that momentum, but right now, Leo with that reversal, and he's already put up 40 damage very quickly and very deceptively. It doesn't look like it's huge hits, but all of a sudden you look at the scoreboard, it's like, man, Wolf already put on 40 with like four hits, three Wolf hits. is so strong in this yeah. game. Honestly, just a few fares and you're already at 60%. Right. And it looks like, yeah, MP Leo's got the side special scouted out, just shielding and punishing. It's very, you know, back to basics, block and punish, block and punish. Wendy trying to go for that spike, but just not able to make it. These two are playing so patiently right now, trying to find an opening. Okay, he's got him off stage in a little bit of trouble. Oh, he oh. knows, but he knows he's trying to go in for that Yeah, spike. I think he tried to clip him with the side special with the scar. <laughs> he's so careful with MP Leo. He's so aggressive, especially on the edge there. Let's see, it's anyone's game at this point, both at 100 plus percent. You just need to see who goes in for that side smash. Just needs to land one, but MK Leo goes in with the shield. Yeah, he didn't feel confident. He probably could have gotten a punish off the forward smash, but, you know, when you have a stock lead, you can elect to go back and reset to neutral and, you know, feel your way through another opening that's more to your liking. There it is. I don't know what killed him. Maybe a dash attack or an up tilt. Something traded because it got knocked down. Oh, wow, what a close game was. Right. that was. Yeah, oh. close set overall. Uh, MK Leo definitely... On the ropes there for game one, uh, Tatanator had his opportunity, but, uh, you know, champions win. Champions just Honestly, win. Honestly, I thought that last smash zoom up was going to be a Wendy hit <laughs> because you saw Wolf had a little knockback right, there. Right. I was almost like, well, who, whose was that? Right.